Welcome to theory of computation class. Uh, today I am going to discuss the polynomial and non-polynomial problems and uh, few examples for implementing these two concepts in this session. So if you consider uh, uh, an algorithm, an algorithm describes a decision problem if its output is simply a yes, no format. So if any uh, problem which has a solution in an yes, no format then that problem is called as polynomial problem. That means uh, it is uh, denoted as P. So the class P consists of all the decision problems that can be solved on Turing machine with a specific amount of time. So those problems are considered as polynomial problems. So if we consider NP, NP is a non-polynomial problem which consists of all those decision problems whose positive solutions can be verified in polynomial time and if it has no algorithm it is called as non-computable. So if the non-computable algorithm requires yes or no answer then the problem will be considered as undecidable. So there are four types of uh, classifications are available. Uh, one is a polynomial problem uh, which can be tractable one. So when uh, we can say a tractable problem means the problem it can be solved at a particular time means it is a polynomial problem and that should be implemented in a Turing machine then that problem is called as tractable problem. So these type of tractable problems are solved using a deterministic Turing machine. So if we cannot able to solve a, a solution at a minimum uh, amount of time then those problems are called as non-polynomial uh, problems are intractable problems. These problems only solved with the help of a non-deterministic Turing machine. So there are two examples are available. One is uh, Kruskal's algorithm which is mainly used to find a minimum weight spanning tree in a given graph. So this algorithm is an example for solving a tractable problem solution. And another example is a traveling salesman problem which is uh, uh, able to solve with the help of a non-deterministic Turing machine. So now let us take the Kruskal's algorithm. So if we consider uh, in a data structure uh, there is a type of uh, uh, notation is available that means a non-linear uh, data structure. So graph is uh, uh, a non-linear data structure. So graph means a uh, collection of nodes which are closed with each other with the help of joining with edges. So this is the graph. And if the graph contains some numeric numbers in edges means those type of edges are called as weighted edges. And we want to calculate a spanning tree from the graph means we should uh, uh, visit all the nodes in a gra given graph with no closed path. So this is this is one uh, tree that is spanning tree and another form is this, I can directly go to 1 to 4 then 4 to 2, 2 to 3. This is another type of spanning tree then I can visit 1 to 2 then uh, 2 to 4 from 4 to 3. So I can able to visit these uh, techniques. So these are all different spanning trees. But minimum spanning tree means if you calculate the total edges from uh, all the uh, from the starting node to destination node uh, the intermediate edges are available so we should calculate the weight of those spanning trees if any one of the tree contains a minimum value then that is called as a minimum uh, weighted spanning tree so this can be solved using Kruskal's algorithm there are two types of algorithms are available for solving minimum weight spanning tree one algorithm is called as Prim's algorithm and another one is called as Kruskal's algorithm. So it is already available in a data structure concept. So uh, how can we find a solution means uh, first we should arrange uh, the edges of a given graph in an ascending order. Then at a time we should visit only uh, one edge at a time and uh, uh, those nodes are considered as visited nodes. So those visited nodes done, uh, does not be repeated at the second time uh, uh, visit. So this is the generalized concept. So how can we implement this concept in a Turing machine? So this is the major question. 
so the output of kruskal algorithm is a list of edges but uh, if you consider a turing machine it is possible to uh, produce an answer in an yes no format so the turing machine can able to produce either yes or no answer so it will not be able to produce the calculation of a minimum edges so how can we solve this problem so if you take input of this algorithm we should consider the graph size number of nodes and its weight but a turing machine has an input string in an encoded format so we convert all the nodes in an binary representation then the edge value should be considered as a binary value and the visited nodes should also be considered as a binary notations so uh, this uh, algorithm can be implemented with the help of a multi tape turing machine so if you consider uh, steps for implementing this concept one tape is used for storing nodes with binary format that is the length of tape is uh, considered as big o of n another tape is used to hold least edge with its weight so after selecting the minimum edge place those two nodes and it waits at a particular time so it will be tracked with the big o of n time so this is the time complexity for taking the uh, minimum edge find out so this process will be repeated with no cycles and we should visit all the nodes in a particular uh, notation so how can we implement it so this is the example so consider a graph it is a b c d which contains uh, uh, six edges are there i i am uh, arranging the edges with in an ascending order so the edges values are ascending numbers are 5 7 8 10 15 20 and its corresponding paths are a to d b to d i am writing it in an alphabetical order so a to d b to d a to c a to b c to d and b to c and i want to uh, check the minimum edges for this one so first uh, the starting node is a from this a the minimum edge is 5 so the first minimum edge in an order is 5 so the path is from a to d with 5 then the next ascending order value is b to d so i can able to easily draw it so i can able to connect b and d with an edge of 7 then next visited node is a to c with a uh, weight as 8 so there is no closed path it's only an open path and all the nodes there are only four nodes are available in a graph so all nodes are visited so i can stop the procedure here so if you calculate the length of these edges the answer is 20 so how to uh, find a solution means i want to implement the solution for this kruskal algorithm with the help of a multi tape turing machine so here tape 1 contains list of nodes or vertex which are namely a b c d in an binary order so instead of a i should use 00 instead of b i should use 01 instead of c i should use 10 and instead of d i should use 11 because this multi tape turing machine is an encoded form and i want to calculate the length of the tape uh, that may be taken as n value so it is the all should be in a binary form and the second tape is used to hold the minimum edge of a graph with its corresponding weight so so suppose if you take this example the minimum edge of the given graph is 5 and its corresponding edges are a to d so the tape to hold the minimum edge values so this is the procedure so uh, in this way you can able to implement the concept so the input is there are uh, uh, three parameters first parameter is the turing machine name and second parameter uh, is used for uh, identifying the number of nodes in the graph so it is 4 so i want to write that integer value in a binary format so the corresponding binary value for 4 is 0100 and i already calculated the minimum uh, length of the graph by using uh, a manual manner so the length is 20 so i want to check it out whether this 20 is accepted by the turing machine or not so its corresponding binary value is 10100 and the output is also in a three parameter so what are the three parameters are the starting node 
and the destination node and its corresponding weight. So already I list out the uh, edges in an ascending order. So you, you should uh, write those outputs in a set. So the first value is A to D with the length 5. So the first parameter is A D 5. Instead of writing those values, its corresponding binary numbers will be represented here. So I already uh, write A B C D as in binary form and also uh, we can able to write the binary uh, notations for a given integer value. So like that we should write all these values and we can able to easily identify those notations. So we can implement these concepts based upon these outputs. So if it's satisfied then it will uh, able to find a solution. So the main output of this Turing machine means whether it satisfies uh, 20 weight it will give the answer as yes. Otherwise it will uh, give an answer as no. So it is a deterministic Turing machine. So because uh, the output of the Turing machine is only a yes, no format, but it is implemented in a multi-tape Turing machine format. So the time complexity for a calculation or implementing this Kruskal's algorithm will take big O of n squared value. So in this way, we can uh, able to calculate the Kruskal's algorithm with the help of uh, a multi-tape deterministic Turing machine. Thank you.